everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel. There's many cameras on our faces right now. Um, today we are doing something brand new on the channel. This is something that I've come up with called the Pokedex Entry Challenge. So we have half an hour to run around Bristol, myself and Kath. We're going to pop an incense because it works as a timer and it brings us some more Pokemon. We're going to catch as many as we can and then we're going to total up their Pokedex Entry numbers yeah. and whoever has the highest total score wins the game. If you want to play along for yourselves, let me know in the comment section below what type of Pokemon you caught and what your score is. But let's get started. So we're going to load up the incense. Do you, and do you want to be... guess how you're going to do? How I'm going to do? Um, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to get at least into triple digits, but I'm not sure I'm going to get much higher than that. Because there, there are a lot of Pokemon like Drowsies that yep. come up a lot who are well up in like the double digits area. Like they're what? See, that's an interesting Middle place, hundreds or so? Do you stick around the water to get loads of Magikarp or do you oh. go into land to get a Drowsy? Mm. What if you get like a Pokestop with like a Dragonite? That's 149 <laughs> instantly. This is crazy. Right, okay. So we're on our phones. And we're going to press start in three, two, one, go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So we're on 29.51 at the minute. And instantly, you mentioned that I got a magic carp, dude. Really? Straight away, yeah. No way. First, first thing I've gotten is a magic carp. It's only 43 CP. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. I'm going to go above and over instead. That's fine. See you later, mate. So is that the first magic carp of the day call? It is. Right. So my plan is I'm going to go up the side of Cabot Circus and I'm going to Castle Park because Castle Park is always rammed with various different uh, various different Pokemon and loads of learn modules. We have got a Nidoran. That is our first Pokemon. Remember that. That's where our first score actually starts. The question is, I've only actually got around about seven Pokeballs and 60 Great Balls here, so it might be a bit of a challenge to get enough. I missed completely to start off with, uh, but this Nidoran, hopefully, yep, straight away, get a nice catch, so that's absolutely fine. And I'm thinking there's two ways of doing this. We can either go and just wander as much as we can and use our incense together, or we could just go and sit in like a triple lure. Just gonna sit down quickly, because this, this is a hard catch that we have to try and do here. Show you guys what's going on, look. Little Zubat that I've got to try and catch here. Let me get him. The Zubats are always quite far away, so they're quite hard to catch. But if we go for a massive throw, we should be okay. Right, there we go. That's quite a few Pokemon already. Uh, there's another learn module there, but you can see in the park we've got two learn modules. And because it's a grassy area, I'd like to think I'm going to catch a more Pokemon. But for now, it's a little bit quiet. On sightings, we've got a Jinx. That would be really freaking cool to get. There you go, mate. Come on, don't mess me around. It was only green circle, so I should catch this guy straight away. I think Weedle, I can't remember what his Pokedex entry number is. Tell you what, I've got Vibrate on my phone, so I can quickly check. Oh, actually, he's not that far. He's only 13. I, oh, Poliwag. So this is interesting, because basically Poliwags have become the new popular Pokemon in Bristol. It used to be Drowsies and Hypnos, but as of late, there just seem to be Poliwags everywhere. And I'm so sorry if the microphone is bad today. Uh, my little wind protector thing, I lost it. Like, I put it in my bag, it came off. So, we're still wandering, and I've managed to just find a Clefairy. It's only level 80. Not sure if you can see that there. It's only level 80. But, we don't care about levels right now. What we care about is the Pokemon's number, and Clefairies, I think, are pretty good. So we'll catch this, and then we'll carry on. So, still looking. Uh, we've managed to find a Psyduck. I'm not sure you because it's quite sunny now, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But Psyduck is here. 128 CP, but again, that's not what matters. What matters is the number of the Pokemon. I'm not going to sit on these two learn modules. As you can see, further into the city centre, there's quite a few down there. So I'm just going to keep hitting them and just walking through them and see where I end up at. And look at this chump over here. <laughs> what does he think he's doing? Huh? What are you doing, mate? Little arena. Get away oh, from no. my poker no. stops. No. The, no, this is here. my learn module. What are you talking about? Yes. This is my territory. There he is. Well, you got Nidoran. Yeah. Probably. Already got it, mate. Yeah. Already got it. See you yeah. later. Up, I did. I got the. And I got everything. I catch them all. <laughs> oh my god. Well, what are you gonna expect? We've all come the same way because I think we have similar ideas about how this is gonna work. Uh, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm not worried too much yet. Just gotta try and catch this Nidoran, and then we'll be able to move on. I'm thinking. So now he's going that way, right? So that means he's going into the the Cabot Circus Town Center towards Broadmead. I think the park. I really think the park is the best place, especially down near the river. Plenty of water Pokemon um, to get some more levels. So let's try and do that, shall we? So you might be wondering why we're not just putting down a learn module and sitting on that. Um, it's simply because we're not allowed to. We've decided in our own rule set, you can obviously change it up as much as you want for yourselves, but we've decided we're not going to do that. We have to depend on the generosity of others in order to get Pokestops with learn modules on. There's a Clefairy. That was a decent throw. It wasn't nice or great or excellent, but it was only a yellow circle, so I think we might have it. No, it got out. Okay. 
we're going to move up to great balls. There's no ruling either on what kind of pokeballs you have to use. We could maybe add that in, that you can only use regular pokeballs, but we're not going to today. There you go. Big old spin throw. Pretty good. That's in the green. That should be cool. That's what we got over here. A Pidgey. I'll take it. Fine. Why not? So we're outside the Costa Coffee Shop and the Lure Stop has got a Poliwag. This is good. If, if we carry on as we are right now, I'm probably going to be able to afford a, uh, a Poly Wrath at the end of this video. Like, I will go through and do a little bit of evolution afterwards. So some kids have just absolutely pegged it that way, shouting the fact that there's a Slowbro around them. I'm pretty sure that's a decent number of Pokemon, so we're going to go for it. See if we can find it ourselves. These little tips that you find if you just sort of listen and look around. Maybe this could be the clincher, because I'm pretty sure that Slowpoke and Slowbro are pretty high in terms of Pokemon number. We've got plenty of Pokemon actually on those two Pokemon stops as well. I've still got some raspberries left, I've still got some great balls left, so let's head down there and see if we can find anything cool. Would you look at that? An 824 Hitmonlee has just hatched. Now, I will put it out there that we've also decided that hatch Pokemon do not count towards the final total. If they happen to pop up, it's more of a handicap that you're losing time that you could be catching and spotting Pokemon rather than anything else, so that's a no-go. Oh, and there he is, the first guy we were talking about today. We reckon that this guy is gonna be a game changer when it comes to raising these entry numbers. Oh, he's disappeared. It's been one poker stop and the drowsy's gone. <laughs> Shelter, I think that's arguably higher, so I'll take it. All right, there we go. It only took two throws, but we finally got it. The shelter is caught. Now, do I wait here for a little bit or do I just carry on through the city and go and look for other things? There's another low module up that way. Let's go and follow it and just get ourselves up there. So we've actually managed to just spot a Seedra and this is actually a really high level Seedra as well. 466, which for me, is a pretty high level uh, Pokemon. I'm, I'm trying to catch it. The thing is, in a, in a challenge like this, where I'm trying to catch this Pokemon. This has cost me five or six Pokeballs now, and it's costing me time. So I'm gonna try a couple more times and see if I can catch it, but I may, even though I don't have this Pokemon already, I may leave it, because it may lose me the competition. Okay, Seedra acquired. There's still a Drowsy, a Pidgey, and two Pokestops ready to recollect as well. So with this incense on these double laws, this is probably the best place in the whole of Bristol right now, I guess. Oh, I've got the choice between a Pidgey and a Spearow. You know which one I've got to go for. I'm fairly certain that Spearow is higher than Pidgey on the Pokedex entries. If it's not, then everything I know about Pokemon is a lie. Uh, two. No, he broke out of it. All right, this is gonna require a great ball. Let's do it. And he, he ran, he ran off. Brilliant, right, need around female. Let's go again. I feel like I've lost my momentum. The last few minutes have been very quiet. And it just, it animated just before I got to it. Come on, there you go, okay. That's a little bit better. Boom, there you go, need around female court. Let's see what we got now. Ooh, Goldeen, okay. I'm gonna chill here for a second, because I spotted the Goldeen, and I think I also just spotted a uh, Nidoran, or uh, maybe Nidorino. It was one or the other. I couldn't tell how big it was from a distance, but let's see what we've got. No, nope, she's breaking out of that. Okay, there we go. We got it. There's the Goldeen. 388 though, so I'm not even sure. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure a regular ball is going to cut it, but we're trying it. Apparently we're brave. Come on. Was that a three? It was. That's three. Okay. Back down the street. We're going to go head over to that poker stop. And I think after that, we're going to head back up towards the park, sort of. But we're going to head over to the harbour side, because that's where a lot of water Pokemon are. And they tend to be in the higher registry when it comes to Pokemon. Did any of you found the No, there's one around here? Yes. Electabuzz on a Poliwhirl round here, I've not found either. Wow, alright. Let's do it. Okay, word on the street, according to some uh, some local Pokemon goers, is that there is an Electabuzz around here somewhere, and some kind of Ditto King or something like that. Not quite sure what it is. It's definitely not a Jolteon, because I've already got one. But, it does seem to be a Pokemon that I don't have right now. I'm not sure if you guys are going to see this. But just there? Yeah, one of those Pokemon. If I can catch that, then Martin's going to really disappointed. Have you guys found the Electabuzz at all? Yeah, yeah it's, it's exactly. just over there. Just over here, yeah? Cool, yeah. nice one guys. Apparently it's just over here with these guys just down this way. So I need to get down there. Oh no, I see it, I see it. I literally see it. Electabuzz, you're mine, buddy. Awesome. Perfect. Can you believe it? That's incredible. Right, what is it? Level 86. I can catch this no problem at all. Okay, Electabuzz caught. That's a pretty good number on a Pokemon. I don't know exactly what, what number it is, but I know it's definitely not a low one. So that could be the winner for us. You can probably see the route that I'm going to take right now. We're going to hit this poker stop. We're going to take a little U-turn or maybe just completely turn around. We're going to hit that one. We're going to go into the park and get that one. And then you can see all of those low modules really far off in the distance. And look at that. I love hearts on the floor. Oh, it's so cute. All right, what we got here? Another Poliwag. See what I mean? They are everywhere. There we go. Nice throw. I think that's going to be enough. I'm just going to start walking back in this distance. I'm getting maximum efficiency out of this run so far. There's the third one. Got it. All right, just as we stamp on all of these hearts. Oh, this will be the first one of the day, actually. 
first slowpoke that we come across and I'm fairly certain that he has I'm not sure it's triple digits, I think it's going to be late doubles that he has for his Pokedex entry number. He's orange though on a regular ball, so if he breaks out of this first one, I'll make sure to move over to a great ball. How did that not hit? I heard the ping. I heard the ping the first time. 100% I heard the ping. And there he is, we got him, that's nice, good stuff. Right, Slowpoke Core. Hopefully we get this Staryu first time. It's only 63 CP, which I love, and I like them being nice and low today. Normally I would despise it, and I would just send it straight off to Professor Willow for candy, but today it's more important than ever. Oh, there's a Magikarp up ahead, this is great. And this is gonna be really great for my uh, my candy front on Magikarps. Oh, oh. Okay, that one hit, but it was still mid-animation. There you go. I've had it on very rare occasions where I've actually thrown the ball, it's bounced off of something, and on the gravity fall back down, the animation for the Pokemon has ended, and it's actually caught the Pokemon on that second hit, which is just mental. It's happened to me twice now, but never on video, which I've been gutted about. In the creepy staircase, we find a slow poke. Ooh. Try again. There we go, got him. Nice throw, that's all I need. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? That looks like a third roll. Stars! Yeah, there we go. And there's another Magikarp the moment that we get to the top of these stairs. This is going so well! I think I've picked up my momentum again. He's only 10 CP with a nice throw. Regular ball is 100% capture rate. It's gotta be, hasn't it? The gym in the in Bristol Parkway is just here, by the way. This weird castle shape thing. I'm gonna go over there, see who's uh, who's taking it, and maybe get a couple more Pokemon on the gym as well. Let's, uh, oh, actually there's double lures. And there's a fight going on between Mystic and Instinct as well. Pretty exciting. So we're back in Castle Park. I've not actually had anything as I've immediately walked in, but the lure module at the bottom has got a polywag. So we're going to go through that lure module, we're going to go out the other end and head towards kind of like the harbour sidey area, because there are a load of water Pokemon there, as well as others, and there are usually Dratini. Polywag was caught, 152. Good times. All right. Oh, there's a drowsy right there, right beneath the gym. Right underneath my footsteps. I think he might be from the incense, I'm not sure, but he's only level 70 and a great throw into the catch. So how long have we got left on the clock right now? There's less than 10 minutes to go. Oh my god, dudes. I just found a wild slow bro. What is that all about? Okay. Sure, it's 683. It's probably a silly idea to try and even use that ball. I'm going ultra ball. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. That's going to be a good one for me. There you go. And a nice throw as well. I don't think I could do much more than that. I could obviously get excellent. I think great might be above nice as well, but still, he got out. That is insane. There you go. Another nice throw. If I don't get it after that, I'm not sure what else I can do. No, it's not enough. There was no nice, great or excellent, no raspberry, no bonuses, but I got it. What? We managed it, okay, sure. Yeah, I got a slow bro. <laughs> I'm in a chat. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Cheers, man. There we go. No Cheers, man, have a good one. Thank you. Polywag, let's get the polywag. There we go. If Kafas, I'm allowed two extra minutes. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, there is an ice cream truck as well. I really want to go to it. Polywag right now is more important than food. I can have food after this as much as I want. Everything will taste better with a sprinkle of victory on top of it. But is the Polywag mine? The Polywag's mine. Get in. So there's now apparently an Abra around. We've got two minutes and 55 seconds left. And I don't think, because well, it's for me for the competition. <laughs> there's a lot of people around here also playing Pokemon Go. Um, we, I don't know if we've got enough time to actually find it. We can try. I mean, apart from getting down to the lures down there, uh, it's going to be difficult. I think we're going to have to call it a day almost. We'll be able to catch a couple more and then we'll be done. So let's get past the gym and then we should be good to go. Oh, I'm like not really near it at all. It's like outside of even the, like, the echo of my circle, but a Goldeen is in the river. And there it is, captured. Good stuff. Have the traffic lights gone yet? No. Still waiting. Oh, and just as I do that, I notice that there's a... <laughs> I just noticed there's a slowpoke in the water as well, just by accidentally pressing on the... That's a really high slowpoke. Um, I only just noticed it by pressing accidentally on a poker stop. That's not going to get it with normal ball, is it? It's too high. It was... What? It was fine. No way. 701 with a regular poker ball. That is going to evolve into a mammoth slow bro and another polywag. See what I mean? We got it. There's the third roll. If you want to have a little look at the river that these are on. Pretty nice. They've got the glass boat, which is just behind me. They've got the apple further down, which is like a boat pub, which is really cool. But let's carry on going. Oh, there's a Magikarp and a Staryu. I'm fairly certain Magikarp is higher than Staryu. I mean, I'll get both in passing if I can, but I really want to carry on heading down this road right now. I need to see how much is left on the clock. I think I've got mere minutes left. Three minutes and 37 seconds left. I think what I'll do is I'll stop here. I'll catch this slow poke, and then if I walk backwards and up the side of that pub, um, it takes me onto another back road where there's another learn module. So let's do that. Second roll, third roll. There it is. Good stuff. Okay. Should manage to catch Dean. The last minute of uh, of time here, I think. So we've got one minute and fifteen seconds. There's a slow poke. 
here. Oh man, we're, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna struggle, I think. I've managed to catch a lot of Pokemon, but I don't think the levels are high enough. Uh, and this is this is literally the last one. So there you go, the last Pokemon that I caught. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, so I'll just keep on spinning. There's, there's a Pokemon there, honest. It's a Slowpoke, um, and at level 324 Slowpoke at that. Keep my fingers crossed that we've managed to do well. Um, I feel like it's gone all right. I feel like we've managed to catch a few, but this Abra is being very elusive. We've got one minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. We can run around to the next lower module, get a good catch in before the end of our time, and see if we still win. Oh, I can't even press on this one right now, because it's not, it's on the poker stop, quite literally. There's a Krabby that just turned up as well. Let's get both of those. But I do need to get up to the learn module. If I don't catch this Zubat, I might just leave it. Just because it's going to be too trolly. Because it's too far away. And really hard to do with one hand. There we go, there's a third roll. Okay. I don't think we've got long left on the clock at all. We have got... How long? Oh wait, it's gone. I think the timer ended. That's I can't do anymore. So I'll have to triple check the video footage back to see whether I got the Krabby or the Zubat before or after the timer finished, but that's it. We're all done. I'm going to uh, give Kaff a call now and see if he's about. Because if I call him and he's still playing, this will interrupt his gameplay, which will make him realise the time. Hey, how's it going, dude? Yeah, not too bad. How, did you catch a different uh, Pokemon? I, uh, I am I doing okay? Should we meet back at the office and uh, see what I we think, got? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'm, I just, just <coughs> Electabuzz, just saying, just, just say. <coughs> Electabuzz. Electabuzz. <laughs> was that what? Where'd you get that? Was that on our learn module? Uh, no, it's just down in the park. Um, it was, it was just. I've been doing some Bristol Park. We'll talk about this when I get back, dude. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll, I'll meet you there. I'll meet back in the office, dude. See you soon. <laughs> awesome. Bye. So we're back in the office. It is time to tally up the totals, see what Pokemon each other caught. We're going to start with Kath. Yes. What did you get? I I did okay, actually. I didn't do too badly. Okay. Uh, literally, when we just left uh, the Cabot Circus um, Circle, I managed to catch this Nidoran. <laughs> you can see that whilst, whilst we're, we're hanging out. And then Zubat. Not bad. Weedle, Clefairy. Clefairy and Psyduck, Psyduck are better quite high up. Yeah. Nidoran again. Damn. Zubat. Golbat. Drowsy. Eevee. You've got an Eevee. Yep, Clefairy, Zubat, Seedra. You caught the Seedra. <laughs> is that a lure module? No, I think, I'm not sure. It was either lure or incense. I don't think anybody else oh was trying God, to catch wow. it. But it was just down by, there were double lures down in the park. Yeah, that's where we, so, where we bumped into each other. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. So okay. I managed to have this one's trucker. The other Drowsy as well. Spearow, mm -hmm. Clefairy, Weedle, Electabuzz. That's, okay, that's pretty good. I got one out of a 10k out. egg whilst I was walking around. It's but bad. Doesn't count though. I didn't doesn't catch count. one. No, Psyduck, Staryu, Magikarp, Goldeen, Slowpoke, and then the Slowpoke here is the last one I caught just before the time ran out. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see the footage of that. Oh, so that's where it ends? Yeah, that's literally where it ends. Mm. These are just extra ones that I caught on the way back home. <laughs> okay. 23 Pokemon. Oh my god. Yeah! I don't know if I go, it's, it's not about the quantity of Pokemon, no, it's, it's, not. it's the Pokedex entries. Yeah, yeah, so really I started obviously with the Magikarp when we were in Cabot Circus. Magikarp, Zubat, mm -hmm. Pidgey, Zubat, mm -hmm. Weedle, the first of many Poliwags. Nice. Okay. Magikarp, Psyduck, Nidoran male. Yeah. Shelder, Nidoran female, Clefairy, Poliwag, and then I got a Hitmonlee out of an egg, which obviously doesn't count. I got Shelder, Nidoran female, Goldie, oh another Nidoran male, <laughs> Poliwag, Slowpoke, Staryu, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Poliwag, Drowsy, Slowbro. Wow, Slowbro. That's one of my best ones. Magikarp, Poliwag, Goldie, Slowpoke. Another Poliwag, another Magikarp, <laughs> Staryu. Oh my god. And then I've got Slowpoke, who I caught, but then my final two, my Zubat and my Crabby are currently undecided, so I'm going to consult the footage now and that see if good. that actually counts. Okay. So let's tally these up. He's only gone and done it. Look at this. Cap's total score right now is 1,000. 484. It's not bad. A lot of the, <laughs> wow. the problem is a lot of the the Pokemon that you've got, Magikarps and the like, or the yeah. water Pokemon are quite high level. Yeah. Um, I think my Golden and Magikarps might push me over, but I'm not sure. I reckon that you've got around about 1750. You reckon? Yeah, I think I think you've really got this Ooh. in the bag. But we'll have to see what happens. Let's do it. Let's find out. <laughs> Hold on. Let's draw this just in here. Like so. <laughs> Two, six, zero. So I love it. That is my score, 2,640. If you think you can beat that yourselves, play the game for half an hour, film it if you really want to, and uh, post a picture on Instagram, tag me in it, send it me on Twitter, send me a YouTube video, whatever you want to do. Facebook, uh, post it to me, get a carrier <laughs> pigeon, get it involved. You can send um... it to the PO box <laughs> with your phone. I can't say you'll ever get your phone back, <laughs> but that's fine. But there you go, that is the Pokedex entry challenge. God, Damn, I hope you all like the bit. idea. I hope you all play it and have fun with it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.